Um. Are we live? We're live. For some film? reason, I can't do it sideways. to show you guys this new color and some new shapes that we have. I wish you guys could see this color. It looks great. You could see it. It looks awesome. The sparkle is a lot like um, the sparkle is a lot like in resin art colors. Very nice. I, y'all know I don't use a lot of powder colors. I use a lot of mica shades, but I stumbled upon this one when I was supposed to be doing inventory. And now we're here. So, I'm using Passion Top Cell White. I'm using Just Resin's Hot Pink, but um, the something. Um, all the hot pinks that I carry are very similar, and the shade of the moment for today's video is our teal luster from color fashion i think i like doing welcome lori melody cindy tg essentially um donna highlight reel and we're also showing off the new coaster shapes how cute are these they fit together because puzzles so you can buy one or you can buy 50 and Kind of put them in a zigzag because that's a because if you buy four you can make them into just one a big square. a square or you can put one off to the side and then it'll be a zigzag and then we have the um leaf well we do have easter eggs because easter easter <laughs> and then another thing happening in april um for people of a certain need uh, spiritual yeah. affiliation or medical need or medical need those with medicinal life we have those for you because special request so how much do you love this color wow. they can see the sparkle that's in these and I think I'm gonna leave one just plain because I want to see what it looks like you know after a full cure now these shapes that we're pouring on are the clear shapes so they have the backing that you need to peel off before you start your piece and then also don't forget to remove it that pink is so gnarly i forget how bright it is make sure my hands are clean nope we'll just use this other little stir stick i am using the super cure again today super cure what um, it is the new fast curing resin from Stone Coat. It is not available yet for purchase, yeah. but um, I really like working with it and it does cure faster than I'm used to. So I'm kind of 
Um, helping myself train to be quicker, I think. So, <clears throat> excuse me, if you guys are new to our channel, or even if you're not, tell me where you're watching from, because I'd love to hear from you guys. I would also like to thank my moderators for being here. It means so much to me. If you guys have questions that I just don't see, uh, they will be with you super quick. Somebody has, Christy has a hand, and I'm pretty sure it's broccoli and then two hands up saying. That she likes broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> New Brunswick, Texas. I want to go to Schlitterbahn so bad. Every year we're like, we're going to Schlitterbahn, and then we just don't. So this will be the first time. Some gold would look good in that, man. I have a little bit of resin left, and if it doesn't cure by the time we're at the end of our little journey here, then. Are all these on the website? Uh, they will be as soon as I wrap the live. I, as per usual, ran out of time to, you know, do life today. So something that I like about um, this pink is it's slightly translucent. So I hope you can see, but like you can see that the pink is rolled over the white right here. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to give some interesting looks. So I'm just kind of, I'm not trying to make it too busy, but I am going to manipulate it around in a minute. As soon as I go get my heat gun. Thanks, TG. I think it's going to look red. When working with um, epoxy in general, much less a fast curing epoxy, you really need to make sure that your um, resin is out on the surface as quickly as possible to reduce the um, opportunity for it to just start to cure up on its own really fast. Because that can happen. This makes me think I need to do an actual pink beach. I want to do more with that, but I'm gonna let I'm gonna leave it for just a moment. I already have to clean it. Might as well sit it back down in that. So what's really cool about these clear shapes is that you take one side of the backing off, the side you're gonna paint on, and then you paint on that side, and then after it's cured, so like tomorrow, I'll go in and take the back of the paper off, and I don't have to clean up. I don't have to sand any drips off. I don't have to worry about anything. It's just gonna be a clear, clean, back of this piece for a great coaster for a great co-star you should do lines like marble and then blow on them so it's like poofy yeah put like a little knot in in one of them and then poof it out you know how i like to do it I, yep Let's poof it. Poof it. So I'm going to hit it with just a little. <sighs> Yay. Poofed out. Hold on, Cindy. Thank you so much. I have to get our. Let me pass out. Buzzer. That's so fun. I was gonna do something with this guy up here, but I'm just gonna leave it. Oh yeah, that looks good. Babe. As I blow into it again. Okay, I'm gonna let that one live because I think he looks pretty neat. I'm gonna put that guy right there. Um, Look at that. All right, I'm gonna mix a little bit of gold up. Yeah, gold will look good. Gold will look good with these. There's just something effortlessly classic and amazing 
with, um, I'm going to do this over here so this gold does not get in on my tumblers. All right, so this color is called Old Gold, and as you can see, it is also a mica. This is a metal flake mica. You don't want to breathe this, wear a respirator, listen to your body, etc. cetera. Um, it is also by Color Passion. I always overload my mica, so don't judge me. Is I it mean, curing? Uh, it's not hot yet. Okay. I don't know if I should do the line. Karen now. Stone said, hey, look Karen. at you, Aaron. Looks like a Dutch pour. Amazing you can do that in resin. I like doing Dutch pours. I can do blooms depending on what resin that I'm using. So I'm going to do the gold in this one over here because I like the design, but it's not like I'm married to it. So I'm going to see what it looks like if I manipulate it so that I can know what I want to do with the other ones. I almost always have a um, <sighs> initial victim, I guess. Yeah, that's crazy. It looks like it's just in it. Kind of like it was meant to be. I love how that gold is just selling up through. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, gold will quickly take over. So it's already very much taken over on that side. Yeah. So I think I'm going to do some design on this. Um egg and then I will I would just put a gold stripe right down the center of that and or did you say you're going to gonna leave it um you would do just like a, a gold down the center and not manipulate it at all no I would I would blow it out I think I'm gonna blow it out first so that the gold didn't take over <laughs> <laughs> Just had a moment. 74 people in here. Look at that, y'all. Thanks for joining us on a Thursday night. Okay, we thinned it out a little bit more. <whistles> Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. That's so fun. You're going to faint. Babe, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. 55. There's a lot of people left. Come on, y'all. Come check us out. Come hang out. Did we lose 20 people when I was working on that? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it. This, will it sell up if you spray it with alcohol? Um, that usually works best if you are working with um, something. Um, I've got to get this out of the... TG ah. said, you can't be married to resin. You're already married. I witnessed. <laughs> yes, you did. Would not have been the same without you, TG. Um... So I am just having to hurry up, play a little game of hurry up, because I am working with a very quick curing resin. This resin cures up in 20 minutes, no matter if you are done or not. So you kind of just have to... You can do a smush? You can do a smush. All right, if you guys have never seen me do a smush, um, don't get married to whatever it is I'm just about to do because I mean why would you though because it's gonna look terrible it's gonna look like this but <laughs> how it ends up is amazing you don't have to trust no. me on it it's go the first one always looks great mm -hmm. okay I swear he agrees and is supportive of my smushes
A little bit of heat. And you're not gonna. Oh. Say it faster. No, go. I thought you were gonna put those two together. Well. And... I can smush it again. Nothing is ever completely done in resin. Quarter turn for good uh, vibes. <laughs> I can't get it open. <laughs> I didn't put enough resin. Yeah. All right, give me a second. It's still fun. Oh my God. Well, it's gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My resin is getting tacky. I'm okay. That's the thing about what happens when everything starts to get sticky is everything starts to get sticky. Can you imagine? Okay. I always squeeze it to kind of ensure that I have enough on there. And if it doesn't come out of all the corners, then you don't have enough on there. Okay. Let's see if I did it better. Yeah. Whoa. That was close. Oh, I know. It was so close. Looks good. It'll be fun. Let me hit it with some heat. Things always change when heat's involved. 97 people. What's up, all 97 of y'all? Thanks for watching. If you haven't shared or liked uh, my videos or subscribed, please, please do so. Please do so. YouTube really likes it when people engage. 99. Can we make it to 100? Can we make it to... We got 105 right now. What? Watch out. What's up? Can we get 105 likes or just... People are in and out. There are probably any out of you. I want to do something with this. Tressa D. Yeah, this is Tressa's rig. Oh, Tressa, we're using your rig. I gotta do something with this guy because he is getting quite gummy. So I'll hit it, um, this one with some alcohol. You guys can see what it looks like. We started 17, 18 minutes ago, Bonnie. And it is. Oh, wow. That's tacky. Right. But you can add a little bit of heat and wake it up some. Wake me up. All right. Where's the alcohol spritz? Or should I? I probably should just flick it. All right. Once it starts to move a little bit, that's when you know to pull back. You don't want to scorch your resin it smells terrible look at that y'all that was the smush and there's the other one it is it's like pink here. fire is what it looks like oh we should give it to your friend pink tiger pink tiger okay i'm just gonna this is my favorite these two are my favorite those do look good so i'm not doing a big spritz because i don't want to risk thank you tim He's using our uh, stir sticks almost every day. Thanks, Tim. And if you guys are wondering what he's talking about, these little guys here that she used to stir up the resin with, we have little tiny ones all the way up to big uh, trial sticks. Trial. I was trial. like, did you just say that like Rhonda says it? Trial. Trial sticks. All right, I'm liquefying this a little bit because I am using a quick cure epoxy that has started to do that. Cure? I thought you were just gonna leave one. I am probably gonna be this one. So I was gonna do something with this, but now I'm like, I don't like it. I mix Tim Costello mixes resin with casting pin blanks. I know some Costellos. Also, I would love to do some pen blanks, but I, I never, I don't have a turner, so that could be an issue. Right. I, uh, I watch some, I watch that stuff on YouTube when I, when I'm hitting the sack. I love watching turning stuff. 
People were asking me about uh, alcohol, and yeah, you could do that with this stuff. I just got to get one at that point in curing and not abort my initial strategy. Okay, so we're going to do that with this one. Oh, my gosh. It is starting so, to cure. What's happening with that? I'm going to spritz it with alcohol. Oh. You can also just tilt it while you're hitting it with heat and get cells. You don't have to use alcohol. Oh. I say that, but that hot. it's going to get too warm on me if I start doing all that. Okay, mm -hmm. where's my this? probably let it sit too long way too long but typically yes you can get cells with alcohol and this process <clears throat> mm. i can't just leave it looking all janky well well it's on a wood one anyways it'll be all right i know but that ain't drip that's what she tried to do What's up, Margo? Evelyn? If you guys are wondering what that noise is, it's uh, this yes. turning utensil for tumblers. New resin, not Italian drip friendly. Well, not after it starts to cure up. What are we at in the clock? 22, 22 minutes. Yeah, we're at the end of its working time for sure, but I'll be able to get something out of this. We just need to hit it with some heat to thin it up some. <laughs> it's gonna be lumpy, I bet. I was trying to rustle it up from the bottom. I was trying to blow. Okay. So I was trying to blow it so hard that things were in the bottom came to the top. So now you know. And it's still giving me cells. Jenny Quinn is texting. Jenny Quinn should know that I'm live. So now I'm hitting them with a little bit of heat, especially the ones that we smushed because they will have a texture if they're a little bit further in the curing process. So just to pop some last little boo blaze. Oh my fun stuff is like, yeah, normally it's, um, <clears throat> for some reason on, on my phone, it's the uh, vertical and not the horizontal view. I, I'm not sure what, why it did this. I even restarted it one time. You did. I'm gonna leave that one because I said I would. I was gonna put gold through this, but. Just leave it. Gold through this? I don't care. You don't care about this one or? Uh, I just wanna see. Alright, I'm starting to bump things, so I can't go any further. Just gonna hit that bit with some heat and be done. So I think that these new coaster shapes are amazing. I think that they're gonna be a huge hit for this April. I mean, obviously you can use these shapes for other things at other times. And I'm just wiping off my stir sticks so that I can reuse them. As you all should do. Look, now it's almost good. Oh, yeah. 
And if you guys do get our uh, these stir sticks, the paper comes off. Just peel it off. For some reason, I just leave them on until they just start to come off. Is, did you put alcohol in there? It looks very dry. <laughs> um, I did. It's just starting to set up. So after the first use, it'll start to come off on its own anyway. Yeah. So. And if you leave if you leave your sticks in resin, um, <clears throat> and are able to get them out, and there's resin on it, just wait a couple days, and just it'll peel it'll peel right off. Um, usually, if you hit it with some heat, it'll help. Yeah. Anyways, these um, new April shapes and the puzzle shapes will be on the website. I'll I'll add that as soon as we're done with the live. But I think you should definitely check out these new colors that we're using. The hot pink from Just Resin, Color Passion Top Cell White, and the teal something. Teal Luster from Color Passion. So yeah. 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 Uh, did I miss any questions that you guys need answered? What is the size of the leaf? Uh, I want to say like four, like four, four and a half by five. Like, it's such a weird, um, normally we would do them 4.1 is, is what, what these are in the rounds. Um, but when you have something that doesn't have a lot of space in it and there's space out of it, uh, yeah, it'll hold a cup. yeah it's, it's good. It's a good, it's a good little size. <clears throat> I super love this teal, the sparkle in it. It's kind of insane. I wish it yeah. read on camera like it does IRL. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of these posters and the new colors and the shapes. And we have shipments coming in from all the brands. So if you are looking for a specific color, you should subscribe to our newsletter so that you'll know as soon as they arrive. Um, Cindy asks, how long does it take for the new resin to set? Right now is right about 20 to 18, about 20, 18 minutes. We kind of let it set in the cup. But a full cure is four hours. Four hours for a full cure. Yeah. All right, you guys. I got to let y'all go so I can go add these to the website, the puzzles, and the hemp leaves. But uh, the eggs are already up there, and the colors are already listed. Um, the website is artisttilldeath.com. If you're watching on your hey Josh TV and you have your phone handy, just scan my QR code. It'll definitely work. It will. Oh. Let me see. Like, I'm pretty sure it will work. Now I want to try one. <laughs> right. We'll watch the playback see if it works. Did I miss any questions? Oh, no, that's it. They're all out of here we appreciate you guys so so much um thank you for the donations they help the channel in more ways than i can even say if you my bonnie into monetarily then that's no stress just subscribe and it also helps the channel all right you guys we gotta roll out but thank you guys for watching get all these products at artistofdeath.com we go live every day during the week at 6 p.m. Central, except for on Tuesdays. It's at 2 p.m. Central, and we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow at 6 Central. Yes. Till then, be kind to one another, because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. To you. All right, see, see you guys. Bye. I said bye.